Matt, where the hell have you been? Vanessa's been worried about you. Oh, I got here as soon as I could. How's Dinah? It's not good. She's barely holding on. Now, you have to keep an eye on Vanessa. I got to get her medication. Sorry, boss. Right. Sweetheart. How do you oh. feel? Honey? I'm so much better now you're here. How did you get here sooner? I, I got tied up at, uh, at the office. I had some construction stuff to take care of. What? Oh, did you? Well, I'd rather sit down. It's not doing well. What, what's wrong? Uh, she's worse. And Ross called in Father Huntington from St. Mary's. Is that, ba is that bad? Um, Bill got into a really bad fight with, with a heart because he, he just went after him because he blames heart for everything. Well, you can't really blame him for that, honey, honey. I don't, I don't. He's young and he loves his sister, but... Well, Ross and I brought him out here because we were trying to get him to cool off, but he just disappeared. I don't know where he went. You said your blood pressure's up. You okay? I'm okay. It's just that I feel very helpless about dying. That's all. I know. Don't worry about it. I'll be okay. Vanessa said that I was chasing after all the unavailable men in town and that you were taken and that I'm no threat, which obviously I already knew that I wasn't wait, a threat, wait, so... Vanessa's... That doesn't sound like Vanessa. But hey, she's got, you know, she's got a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm sure she's just letting off steam if she's, you know... Yeah, lots of steam. <clears throat> I'm sure she didn't mean it. I think she meant it, man. She thinks I have designs on you, and I don't. I mean, not that I'm not attracted to you, because... Uh... Look, um, why don't, um... Why don't you, uh, go with Ross and get your medication? I'll get you some water and meet you back at Dinah's room, okay? okay. It's gonna be all right. Maybe it's not such a good idea for Vanessa to see you right now. I know. Baby, you gotta fight. You hear me? You gotta open your eyes, you gotta fight. What's wrong? What is wrong? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, she's getting weaker. Father, thank you for granting my daughter's last wish. It meant a lot to her. Excuse me. Ross, she's, uh, she's getting worse. I think, uh, I think you should go get Vanessa. Yes, I was on my way to get her. I'm gonna get a doctor. Hart. Father Huntington told me how happy Dinah looked when you exchanged vows. I wanna thank you for doing that. Thank you for marrying Dinah. You... You marry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to me, okay? I married Dinah because she's dying, okay? She is dying. And this is the last thing that she wanted, and I gave it to her. Because she wanted it, you married her? Hard? You, you married Dinah? Vanessa, she came to long enough for the, for the priest to do the ceremony, and then she went unconscious again, and she's been that way ever since. I, I, you guys should go in there. You should be with her. She must be feeling so much better now that you married her. Dinah? Dinah, honey. Ross. Oh, God. Sweetheart. Listen, it's me. It's, it's your mother. And, and I, I'm here, and I love you. And, and your father's here, too. Sweetie pie, listen to me. Just hang on, okay? Just, just hang on. Can you hear me? Oh, God. Oh, my baby, my girl. Oh, listen, Dinah. Sweetheart, don't leave us. You have everything to live for. Do you... Remember, 
because I'm dying. No, no, sweetheart, you're going to get well. You are, and Hart married you because he loves you. Vanessa's hey, just... Matt. Hey, all right. Uh, Vanessa's just going through a lot right now, and I, you know, I just don't want to add to the confusion, so I... No, no, you know, no, uh, of, of course not. The last thing I want to do is is upset Vanessa. Uh, actually, I just yeah. came back because I seem to have lost my watch, and I was hoping that I could find it. Oh, but, oh, uh, uh, I think, uh, is this it? I might... Oh, yes, yes. I found it if you left. Thanks, so I thought it might thanks. be yours. Look, um, I know that this is a rough time for you too, Matt, so if you need anything, just, just call me. Yeah, thanks, I, I will. Okay. Well, I, I better get going, Vanessa. It's expecting me, so uh, I'll see you. Why would Vanessa be upset to see you and Matt together? Help! Help! Somebody, please! He's been poisoned or, or drugged. He, he needs a doctor right away. BP, his BP's okay, but he's been complaining of dizziness. It could have happened when he fell. His heart rate dropped to 60, but it came back to 70. What kind of drug did he take? Uh, somebody put something in his brandy. He didn't take it on purpose. You're saying someone deliberately set out to hurt Yes, it was a stalker. It was the person with the nursery rhyme. We got the note, the whole nine yards. Please. If this, was, uh, if this is a criminal act, the police will have to be notified right away. Later, later. Just find out what he was given. Somebody help him. Just please. How can you miss me, bud, when I'm standing right here? I understand that, but uh, remember what it was like in Hawaii? We wake up every morning, just the two of us. Mm-hmm. Wake up and make love. I remember every minute. We made love like we had all the time in the world. We go on long walks together. We talk forever. We <laughs> shop together and stop and take some time to see the sunset. Look at the way the ocean had worn away at the cliffs. Just hold hands. Sometimes we wouldn't even speak. Just, uh, just be with each other. I miss that. It was a wonderful vacation. Yeah. It was. It's over. Well, yeah, because it's a vacation. And there's always a little bit of a letdown when you get home. It's more than that, though, you know? It's much more. Like what? Reva, ever since we've gotten back here to Springfield, it's, we've been hit with so many things, you know? First, there was the, the note that Annie wrote to Mara, and now with Cassie, I mean, Hart's putting her through the ringer again. The whole family's in turmoil. Well, we've gotten pretty good at dealing with things like no, that. No, no, come on now, I'm serious here. Ever since we've set foot back in Springfield, we've been hit from all sides, and not just the, the responsibility stuff, you know, that comes along with, with raising a family or working, but, but with so many other things piled on top of that. And it's affected the way that we deal with each other. What we're like, you know? <laughs> so what are you saying? You want to you just... When, when we were on vacation, when we were on vacation, we were so much more connected to each other. We weren't waiting for the other shoe to drop, and our quality of life was so much better. So you just want to sell the business and move to Maui? Yeah, why not? Oh, because why not? We have family here. We have we yeah. have friends and family. They need us. Yeah, but what about us? Oh, come on, Joshua. We work so hard for everything we have here in Springfield, and I'm not going to let Annie drive no. us away no, from here. we would here. not be running away. Don't think of it that way. Think of it this way. We would be moving towards something new, something better. Is that really what you want? I don't know. I just, I just want to somehow recapture whatever it was we had uh, together while we were on vacation. Let me go check on the kids. <laughs>